Uh, we're going to play Super Mario Brothers with our, our um, lo-fi Nintendo 8-bit controller. So let's, let's try it. No, 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 no. That's not what we wanted to when we first demo. No, okay. There we go. You know what it might be is I can't send you a So that probably. So I'm getting the hang of this. So that means he needs momentum. So I have these these little copper, uh, this is just regular copper tape you can get at a hardware store, you can order it online, and then some Reynolds wrap, and um, and then I just printed out a controller and I carefully set set it that way. And I just used our previous code to kind of uh, auto calibrate stuff. And I did make some changes to, to some of the keyboard code, but it's largely all the things that we've been learning in class already. Um, and so let me show you how, how I built this. So just as before, um, I did make a, a slight change, which is now on touch down, I send a keyboard key left arrow down, and then on touch A1 up, I send a keyboard function key left arrow up. So I'm actually transmitting, you know, sort of similarly the down and up sequence. The only difference, of course, is with the space bar, keyboard key down, keyboard key up, and it looks like there is a space in there. But that was not working as well for some reason. But that is how I built this. And I will share the code. And you can play around with it yourself. And you can go online. And of course, you can change these keys. So let's share this. 